Hello friends, this video on semiconductors part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 5 before going ahead with part 6. Let us first discuss the n-type semiconductor. So in n-type semiconductor, I have a group 5 impurity that is a pentavalent impurity. So let us look at the n-type semiconductor. As I mentioned, the n-type semiconductor will have a group 5 impurity. So group 5 impurity would be a pentavalent atom whose valency would be 5. Right? Let us take the examples of group 5 elements like arsenic, phosphorus, etc. So let us look at the electronic configuration for phosphorus. So the electronic configuration would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p3. So which is my balanced valence shell? Shell number 3. So which has how many electrons? 5 valence electrons. So that means phosphorus has got 5, five valence electrons. What was in case of silicon? Silicon had 4 valence electrons. So now what will happen? Here I have included the phosphorus atom. So now this phosphorus has 1, 2, 3, 4 and there is one extra electron. Right? So out of these 5 valence electrons, 4 have been involved in the covalent bond formation. Like how silicon used to do. But this time it has got one extra valence electron. So what will this extra electron do? This extra electron is the one which is most loosely bound to the nucleus because when this extra electron looks at everybody else he sees that all other four electrons are bound in the are involved in the covalent bond so he is the only one this electron is the only one which who is left out so if you apply a little bit of energy the first electron to come out would be this extra electron right so the amount of energy which is required by this extra electron is even lesser than what we needed in case of an intrinsic semiconductor so we don't even need to increase the temperature at room temperature itself this extra electron will come out and these electrons will help in the conduction so now you understand why did we add this impurity so that these impurities can give some extra electrons which can help in conduction now, this impurity, that is this pentavalent impurity is known as donor impurity. Why donor impurity? Because if you see, it has got extra electron and it is donating that electron for electron for conduction purpose. Right? So, this impurity is known as a donor impurity. Now, if you look at the semiconductor, you see that you don't even need to raise the temperature. Even at room temperature, you have conduction electrons. You have uh, the semiconductor conducting electricity. Correct? So, we saw the advantage of adding impurity. But at the same time, the thermal generation will also take place. For example, now if you increase the temperature, what will happen? These extra electrons will come out. That is already there. Other than these extra electrons, the thermally generated electron hole pairs will also be there. Like which we discussed in intrinsic semiconductor. So that means in that case, both thermally generated electron and holes will be there as well as these extra electrons will also be there. Right? So what do we observe? We observe that in this case, the number of electrons is greater than the number of holes. You understand why so? Because... In the case of intrinsic semiconductor, what was happening when you were applying thermal energy, some electrons were getting generated and simultaneously holes were also getting generated. That is why number of electrons were equal to the number of holes. But in this case, that process is there. Other than that, even at room temperature, there are some extra electrons which are getting generated. And this electron generation will not give rise to holes because these are extra electrons. Correct? So therefore, due to these extra electrons, the number of electrons becomes greater than the number of holes. Right? Now if we look at the energy band diagram for an N-type semiconductor, what do we see? We see that in 
In case of an n-type semiconductor, when we add a group 5 impurity, there is an additional energy level which is created just below the conduction band. And we call this as the donor energy level, which is denoted by ED. Now the electrons which are present in this energy level, they reach the conduction band at room temperature. So the electrons which are present in this energy level, they just need a very small amount of energy, right? So this much energy they manage to overcome even at room temperature and that is how they reach the conduction band and thus helps in conduction. So what were the key points to be noted in case of n-type semiconductor? So what are the important points that we note about an n-type semiconductor? N-type semiconductor has number of electrons very very greater than the number of holes. This is because of the extra electrons donated by the donor impurity atom. So the majority carriers in this case is electrons and the minority carriers is holes. See this is a very important point to be noted. Always remember that whenever we are talking about N-type, the majority carriers is electrons and the minority carriers is holes. Right? So now you understand why the majority, majority carriers means most of the carriers, most of the carriers are electrons because number of electrons is more. And you can also see the energy band diagram on the screen where uh, an additional energy level of the donor electron is created which is very near to the conduction band. So a very small amount of energy even at room temperature can excite the electron from this uh, additional energy level to the conduction band. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.